You are the director. I started my YouTube channel to help a friend with investing and to help others with English. I have put a lot of thought into both of these things. I tried to teach about investing by telling a story. I tried to show how reading on the internet makes getting involved in the stock market difficult. I have written some short stories to help with English. I have taught people how to tell a story and I'm now expanding to teaching them how to write a story. I would like my channel to grow, but why? Is it to be a success? Is it to make money? The answer to both questions is no. I have helped a girl from Japan to write and tell a story. I have helped a girl from China to tell a story. I have given many people from China the confidence to speak in English. I have helped people all over the world. I am working with someone from Brazil who has told me he is learning a lot from me. His daughter is starting to speak English more often and with more confidence. You've already heard two famous actresses and how happy they are. And you can read about it in the comments from the earlier video. While you have heard the success in some of the videos, I have experienced the joy and satisfaction. Hi, Lewis. I like this awesome video, really. It's so nice. It's amazing. And I learned from it so a lot of things. And I'm going to tell you what I have learned. First thing, don't be afraid of failure. If it, and this is the first thing. Second thing, if you want to do thing, you can do it. Third thing and the last, if you didn't success, success, uh, succeed at first time, just try, uh, uh, just, just try again and again and never give up. Actually, Lewis, this video was awesome. I like the idea of the video and also the beautiful surprise of Shad's voice from the first moment I heard her I her voice I knew that is Shad. These two audios show the joy I have experienced. It is amazing. I didn't ask for it. They shared it willingly. And as you can tell, one was still in character. But it's not just them. It's the ones I even talked about above. They are all continuing to strive for the objective without loss of enthusiasm. This is the joy. Do you understand what I said? I said I helped. What does this mean? Does it mean I did it? No, I did not do it. They did it. Each of these individuals decided they wanted something. The shortcomings of goals are they are failures with no enthusiasm to continue. A system, however, is a way of life. Each of these people, as well as many of you that are listening, you are striving, you are reaching, you are achieving, you are performing a system. Each step is a milestone or a goal. A short goal, short time goal is a milestone towards the process of achieving 
the objective. I thought of mindset throughout my life. I used it when trying to educate someone. I never really paid much attention to this until recently. I used to make goals and give up. I made a goal to learn to speak a foreign language. What does this mean? Does it mean if I can say a few sentences that I can speak the language? Does it mean I can talk to someone? This last question made me change my mindset. You will see language advertisements that say you can speak a foreign language in days, weeks, or months. This is true. Unfortunately, the reality is people want to have a conversation rather than just speak. A system is the process to achieve the desired objective. A system is ongoing. It does not end when the goal has been achieved because the goal more often than not actually has a deeper meaning than a one-time event. If you lose weight and return to the lifestyle before the weight loss, chances are you will gain the weight again. Passing a driver's test does not make one an expert driver. These are goals. The objective should be to keep the weight off and live a healthy lifestyle. The objective of driving should be to get from one place to another safely. You can see that these are processes. These are objectives for a long period of time. Investing is not a goal. Saving money is a goal. Investing and saving are two totally different things. You set a goal to be financially secure. This is more a dream because without action, you cannot achieve this dream. It is unlikely that you will achieve financial independence by only saving money. Let's look at an example. Imagine saving $1,000 per month. Wow, that's a lot of money. For 30 years. That comes to $360,000. Is that a lot of money? It depends on how you look at it. In this case, it took you 30 years to save. Now, if you retire and take out, withdraw $36,000 for 10 years, it's gone. You have nothing left. 30 years to accumulate and 10 years to spend. So no, it is not a lot of money. However, as you see it here in front of you, it seems like a lot of money. First, 1,000 per month is a lot of money. You're probably saying you cannot do that. That may be true. I am not asking you to. This is why saving money is a goal, but investing is not a goal. Let's take a third of that, $300 per month. I know it may still be a lot of money, but let me explain. $300 per month for 30 years at 7% per year comes to $360,000. The first thing you should see here is saving money is a need. It is something you need to do. And if done regularly, becomes more than a goal. It becomes a process, a system. If you pick up value of, say, 
a hundred thousand dollars. You may never achieve it because of situations beyond your control. However, because you chose a high value, it is more than a one-time event and therefore a system. Unlike saving $3,000 for a vacation, which after your vacation, you revert back to spending all of your money. The second thing you should see is that investing can get you to your objective easier. Not faster, but easier, depending it could be faster as well. The third thing you should see is that $108,000 saved and invested makes the same $360,000. $100,000 becoming $360,000. One third becoming three times the amount. Shad likes math. You can see where math is important for financial security, for financial independence. Now, using the system, the process of saving $100 per month, you would not really set a goal. Five years later, you probably have received a pay raise so you can save more since you have a system in place rather than a goal. Systems are better than goals. The people above perform the necessary action to achieve success. So yes, success is a process, hence, you achieve success. It does not just happen. You are the director. The director of your story, the way you tell it, the way of your journey. You are the director. You are the director. Let me leave you with this image. I often mention my friend who I wanted to help with investing. She told me she wants to invest, but is not ready and not to pressure her. While I have failed to help her, I am not pressuring her and we are still friends. Another friend says she to me that I did that. She feels that she's disappointed me, which she has not done. For me, it is a success. I learned and I continue to learn without loss of enthusiasm or hope. If this is not self-explanatory, maybe this image can better express it. Thank you. I hope you liked it. Until the next time. Ciao. <laughs> that you were talking on it. I was so excited to know. I think that I thought that you're gonna say it at the last of the video, but you didn't say it. Can you tell me what? Who is she? Oh, you want to know who the friend is, huh? Well, then you'll be interested to know. <laughs>